what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have more than enough confirmation on when we will be getting the first trailer for screen 5 now this post here is in relation to the uk this is coming to us courtesy from the prince charles cinema in london they announced today that at this scream 25th anniversary screaming that they'll be having in the uk at their theater those in attendance will be treated to a very exclusive first look at the upcoming fifth entry for scream the scream 5 trailer be some of the first in the world to see the trailer for the next installment in the scream franchise scream 2022 is how they have it listed here and they say thanks to our friends at paramount pictures uk on monday october 11th we're proud to present a special preview of the brand new digital restoration of the 1996 classic we all know and love scream but then the thing that i shared over on the community site or the community tab for my youtube channel was this from film updates the trailer for the new scream movie will debut exclusively in theaters on october 10th in the u.s and 11th in the uk alongside the restoration of the original movie now here is the thing so far the only theater chain that's really confirmed that they will be showing it is a theater chain in the uk we know that the movie is going to be shown in the us but we haven't had amc come out and say hey you know we're going to be showing this upcoming exclusive first look at the trailer for screen five along with the previews for those who come in attendance at the fathom event we know we'll have for the two nights that we're going to have it here in the states we haven't had uh fathom actually come out and say anything direct either about the trailer being shown at the event however keep in mind some some of you who have been following viewer or non and just been messaging if you have ties to anyone that has to do with marketing for paramount i've seen a lot of you say or one of you told to me that you actually had connections with someone who did marketing and they told you that the date would be October 12th that the trailer would release online. We haven't gotten anything solid on the States in from Fathom events for any theater chain outside of this chain in the UK. So congratulations to you guys in the UK who will be attending that and getting to see the trailer for the first time. For us here in the States, still we're waiting for like an official word of mouth from either Fathom Events or AMC Theaters or some theater chain or Paramount Pictures themselves even to say that, hey, you know, what was announced for the UK is also going to be true for the States. But if I'm a betting person, just going off of logic, I don't think Paramount Pictures UK would be getting an exclusive look at the trailer and then the Paramount Pictures for the US side of things where the states won't be getting anything at all. I believe that we will be getting the trailer with the re-release of the first classic original screen movie next month when it comes back to theaters during the week of Halloween Kills and then the trailer will play alongside Halloween Kills when it releases later that week. I'm also anticipating that we get a first poster for the film that same week because sometime next month we'll get a poster for the for the upcoming film i want to say we'll get it before they start having those airbnb nights at the Stu mocker house from the uh, original film where they'll be having like i think the first date was october 27th so sometime before october 27th i'm sure we'll start to see the posters for the upcoming film definitely confident about the states getting it the same time frame as the uk when it relates to a trailer being shown exclusively at this re-release screening i don't think the uk is the only one that will be getting it i'm pretty sure the states will be getting it as well the film updates twitter page did also go ahead and comment down below that they were the first to report that bit of information back in august i remember i made a video about it i believe i made a video about it they did bring this up a couple of months ago i think it was like august or yeah august or no they, i think it was august or late july they had brought that up anyway that we were beginning a trailer during the re-release of the screen film so now they're here again telling us this bit of information and they also tagged on that the uk will be getting it just like how that theater chain out in the uk made an announcement for those that will be attending that they'll be among the first batch of people that will have the opportunity to see their first look at screen five i think the same will be true for the states i don't think we have anything to worry about will a, an official announcement come out from paramount pictures i would imagine so since the uk made an official announcement i would imagine we'll get one if we don't get one closer to the date for here in the states and the uk and the uk is the only chain that that's the only chain from the uk that's announced it 
I mean, maybe you can have your doubts. Maybe it'll be saved as a big surprise. I would imagine they'll use that as a marketing tactic, though, for you to go out and see a movie you've probably seen countless times at this point. <laughs> Just so you can see the upcoming trailer for the fifth movie that you're also dying to see. The other thing I want to talk about was Kevin Williamson, who recently had a sit down with comicbook.com just talking about how he is his like little role that went into Scream 5 and how initially he wasn't wanting to do the project. But after speaking to one of the writers, he came to the conclusion that there is a lot of passion from this team. They are doing this for their own personal reasons that have to do with wanting to honor and pay respect to, of course, the legacy of Wes Craven and everything that's come before what they're getting to do with their iteration of contributing to the already existing continuity and it's just i guess they gave him a vibe that you know we're not just trying to cash in on an already established franchise we are fans of this genre we're fans of this series and you know we want to have you on board and i guess kind of just have you here as support just to show that you know we're doing everything that Wes would be proud of that's the kind of vibes that i got from just reading that interview i'll leave a link to it down in the description he just seemed very enthused by their reaction and their admiration for this franchise. So him being the creator, one of the creators of having the brain power that he had to come up with this concept, that is something that I feel like struck a chord with him, which led to him going back and saying, you know what, I'll do it. I'll come on here as the executive producer. I'll stand, stand by and give you whatever feedback you think you need. I won't get too involved because I don't think that he wrote anything in this in this film i don't think he had any type of writing credits or anything uh i think that's been made very clear i just feel like this newest interview from him and the way he talks about it and how he's so satisfied with the way the movie has come together and from what he's seen from the product that he's seen of it because i'm sure he's seen the final cut uh it just seems like kevin williamson fell in love with what they were telling him prior to him coming on board the project after initially not wanting to do it because he didn't want to have one foot in i believe is how he worded it it was just a very something it put a smile on my face to know that this man who i would say was screwed over with scream four maybe screwed over even with scream three he has some people here who are respecting his vision and everything that he's done and they want to pay respect to him but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video